Hello, Mark Crossford here. More swings coming at you from my iPhone, iPad, Android app called Golf. This guy's hit the button at the bottom. He's sent a swing through. He's either recorded it or sent it through the camera roll. Let's give him some help. Posture, setup posture, and then certainly some deliver a drill to try and help him with a little bit more improved uh, kind of delivery through the ball. Might help him play some better golf. Let's get stuck in. Right, interesting one here. Two things, we see quite a rigid setup. Even though the lines, when you first look at it, look quite good, we see arms and club almost in a straight line. You've got to try and get your arms relaxed, hanging down, and the club then shoots out in front of you. You need a little bit of angle at the start. You don't want to be too upright here. It's going to really kind of take a lot of power out of your movement if you're not careful. Then we see a really kind of outward bottom inward lower back so almost shaping in i mean it just looks absolutely kind of regimented doesn't it just needs to slightly relax pull your shoulder blades back you can almost tuck your kind of your tailbone slightly under to straighten off your back rather than have this kind of inward curve it just really stiffens golfers up when they stand so aggressively that way so definitely stand like you are but just relax your shoulders and your arms so the club hangs down and then or your arms hang down the club shoots out from in front of you and then maybe just tuck your tailbone under and pull your shoulders back to get your better spine angle lines will help you get in a little bit more of a relaxed position now backswing looks okay downswing it looks like the face is turned this way a little bit about the shaft which means when it's delivered there's a good chance it's going to be pointing to the right which means you're going to hit the ball to the right possibly curve it further to the right subject to your path in relationship to that fade so what we see is a little bit of a kind of forward flicking hit where you're adding loft but it does hopefully get the face kind of pointing somewhere in relationship to your path to help you hit target so it's the classic kind of face turned around the shaft going to hit the ball to the right so it's the flicking forwards to find target adding loft weaker shots ones that tend to curve off to the right you can also pull it doing that as well it's all where that face is in relationship to the path nine times out of ten that's more open to the path that way look I've done this drill a lot and it works really well with golfers getting it to on the course is the hard thing that's where you need to practice i want you to turn the club face 20 degrees closed then grip it how you normally grip it ignore the face so you're going to grip a 20 degrees closed club face i want you to stand there as if you're going to hit a ball at your intended target forgetting the face is 20 degrees closed set up sort your posture out a little bit now you're not allowed to hit the ball left from here so the game is can you deliver that handle actually forwards get the feeling of delivering the handle more forwards rather than the flick forwards it's a great drill for giving golfers who hit with the big flippy forward hit the instant feeling of hitting obviously with the handle too far forwards but the other way around it kind of balances them out a little bit it's a difficult one to do so here you go i'm going to grip it 20 degrees closed set up as if i'm hitting to my normal target but i'm now not allowed to hit left I just made sure I delivered the handle way forwards. Totally different strike I'm sure he's getting with his flippy one. Took a nice divot in front of the ball. Ball really felt like it came off a nice part of the face, quite high up the bat, not too low on the face. So kind of centered grooves, which felt good. Often when people are flipping forwards, they're hitting bottom grooves a bit more. Um, it's a great drill to feeling A, hips going forward, B, the handle going forwards. Then what you want to do once you hit, I would hit say three that way and then put the club back to neutral and hit some shots trying to feel like you're delivering that handle a bit more forwards and then three back to this way whack 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 try not to go left then again back to neutral just to try and switch the handle head relationship kind of delivery through impact it will transform the height distance often and the feeling off the face on your strikes compared to the way you're doing it and it's rigid and then flipping forwards kind of hit let's see if we can get you hitting a little bit more of a descending blow hands forward a fraction with your eyes get some better strikes out there give that one a go it really helps people it's strange at start you will tend to hit a lot left but just keep practicing trying and push that handle forward you'll beat it get very different strikes and i think you'll love the feeling of it thanks for sending so if you like what's going on here don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel also thumbs up the video post comments love to hear what you guys got to say let's keep it social the more we talk the more we share the easier this game will get for uh, for everybody so if you want to find me on facebook here you can find me on facebook 
if you want to tweet me find me on twitter here as well just follow the links all in the description come and join the show get active get involved get playing some better golf thanks for watching Hello, Mark Crossfield here. More swings coming at you from my iPhone, iPad, Android app called Golf. This guy's hit the button at the bottom. He sent a swing through. He's either recorded it or sent it through the camera roll. Let's give him some help. Posture, setup posture, and then certainly some deliver a drill to try and help him with a little bit more improved uh, kind of delivery through the ball. Might help him play some better golf. Let's get stuck in. Right, interesting one here. Two things, we see quite a rigid setup. Even though the lines, when you first look at it, look quite good, we see arms and club almost in a straight line. You've got to try and get your arms relaxed, hanging down, and the club then shoots out in front of you. You need a little bit of angle at the start. You don't want to be too upright here. It's going to really kind of take a lot of power out of your movement if you're not careful. Then we see a really kind of outward bottom, inward lower back, so almost shaping in. I mean, it just looks absolutely kind of regimented doesn't it just needs to slightly relax pull your shoulder blades back you can almost tuck your kind of your tailbone slightly under to straighten off your back rather than have this kind of inward curve it just really stiffens golfers up when they stand so aggressively that way so definitely stand like you are but just relax your shoulders and your arms so the club hangs down and then your arms hang down and the club shoots out from in front of you and then maybe just tuck your tailbone under and pull your shoulders back to get your better spine angle lines will help you get in a little bit more of a relaxed position. Now, backswing looks okay. Downswing, it looks like the face is turned this way a little bit about the shaft, which means when it's delivered, there's a good chance it's gonna be pointing to the right, which means you're gonna hit the ball to the right, possibly curve it further to the right, subject to your path in relationship to that fade. So what we see is a little bit of a kind of forward flicking hit where you're adding loft, but it does hopefully get the face kind of pointing somewhere in relationship to your path to help you hit target so it's the classic kind of face turned around the shaft going to hit the ball to the right so it's the flicking forwards to find target adding loft weaker shots ones that tend to curve off to the right you can also pull it doing that as well it's all where that face is in relationship to the path nine times out of ten that's more open to the path that way look i've done this drill a lot and it works really well with golfers getting it to on the course is the hard thing that's where you need to practice I want you to turn the club face 20 degrees closed. Then grip it how you normally grip it. Ignore the face, so you're gonna grip a 20 degrees closed club face. I want you to stand there as if you're gonna hit a ball at your intended target, forgetting the face is 20 degrees closed. Set up, sort your posture out a little bit. Now you're not allowed to hit the ball left from here. So the game is can you deliver that handle actually forwards? Get the feeling of delivering the handle more forwards rather than the flick forwards. It's a great drill for giving golfers who hit with the big flippy forward hit, the instant feeling of hitting, obviously with the handle too far forwards, but the other way round, it kind of balances them out a little bit. It's a difficult one to do, so here you go, I'm gonna grip it, 20 degrees closed, set up as if I'm hitting to my normal target, but I'm now not allowed to hit left. If so I just made sure I delivered the handle way forwards totally different strike i'm sure he's getting with his flippy one took a nice divot in front of the ball ball really felt like it came off a nice part of the face quite high up the bat not too low on the face so kind of centered grooves which felt good often when people are flipping forwards they're hitting bottom grooves a bit more um, it's a great drill to feeling a hips going forward b the handle going forwards then what you want to do once you hit I would hit say three that way and then put the club back to neutral and hit some shots trying to feel like you're 